first Kindle ebook. Now, here are the list. If you want a quick list, it's basically romance, diet and weight loss, self-help, cooking, travel, and kids books. Now, these are the ones that I believe you should avoid first at the beginning when you're just getting out and starting to write. Of course, can you jump into cooking if this is your whole mantra, if this is what you're focused on and you love to cook and you have a YouTube channel about it and you're looking to really grow your business all around cooking, cooking supplies and equipment? Yes, absolutely. You can still start with a cooking ebook. That's perfectly fine. If you love writing and you want to create children's books and that's your passion and that's your dream and your desire, can you start there? Absolutely. But these book categories and this list that I have is really the whole goal to avoid them is because, well, they are very competitive and difficult to create as kind of your first ebook. Um, if you go ahead and already written, let's say five or 10 books uh, already, then you could go ahead and jump into these categories. And I say, by all means, feel free to dabble into them. But at the beginning, it's a little bit difficult because there's a lot of things you have to learn as a writer, as an online business owner, as a marketer, as a person uh, just growing your business. There's a lot you have to learn about the industry itself to really become successful in these categories because of the competition and just because of the way that things are structured. So let's take, for example, this romance concept. Well, really the way you make a lot of money from these romance novels is maybe your first book is kind of a dud, okay? It's, it's not really that great in terms of sales, but you could go ahead and create a second book and a third book. So you create kind of series around them. And then you go ahead and you take that series and now you'll create a second series around them or it could be five book series, whatever the case may be. But the competition is so heavy. So you need to be writing multiple books to really hit that romance category. Uh, there's just a lot of competition out there with stories. You have to really uh, have a really nice uh, storyline uh, created within that whole series to make it work. So a lot of work to be able to see the success with a lot of competition makes that category a little bit difficult. Uh, diet and weight loss. There's a huge amount of money to be made from diet and weight loss. Now, it's no secret or magic recipe to be able to lose weight. I mean, really, if you uh, part of it's genetics, part of it's eating healthy, and part of it is exercise. So, you know, a lot of times what people are doing when they're looking for a diet and weight loss kind of thing is they're looking for a system to help them move through uh, and, and stay on the path of being consistent. But really, because this has such a large competition, it's just so large, uh, it make, makes it very difficult to break into because what you have is uh, within that large segment, you have different segments uh, or categories. So you might have things like, let's say, on the dieting, it could be like the smoothie diet. Uh, it could be like the raw food diet. Uh, you might get into now, let's say, exercising. But here you get into, let's say, yoga, and then you get into... Uh, you know, machine or equipment or weight training, and then you get into running for weight loss. So all of these have their own sub niche, and it's a really big category to kind of try and dominate right off the bat. Uh, self help is also very big. So again, just like with diet and weight loss, it's the same kind of thing. There's a lot of segments to it, and it becomes very competitive. So again, I would say try to avoid that because there's just so many self help books out there. Cooking, also very similar. There's a lot of segments and a lot of categories. And also, uh, it's a category where people are not buying as heavily unless they already kind of know you and built a relationship with you. And what do I mean by that? Well, because it's a category where the money spend is a little bit less, you typically make more money on advertising and products that are developed later on once you're big. So that's where you make money on cooking. But if as your first book, right, you're not going to be making that much money on it since you're just getting started. So what you're doing really is in cooking is you have this big category again, and now you have these different segments and you're creating a lot of videos. But people, what they do is they go to YouTube and they look up a quick uh, recipe or they look up an article. Uh, you know, on uh, recipes.com. So they're looking for a quick little recipe idea and then that's it and they're done. And that's kind of the issue with the cooking category is that there's no real kind of upsell to growth until you become big. Now, once you're big in the cooking space and you've grown your channel, you've grown your audience, you've grown your name, now you could, of course, produce your own videos, how to cook, how to cook with kids, how to cook for kids. You know, you could create a lot of different things and you can even create products 
that people could use in their cooking. But until that point, it makes it a little bit difficult as your first book to kind of getting started out. Travel is similar to this. Okay, so if you look at travel books,、uh, you know, let's say just as a general person who lives in the USA, a lot of Americans or people that live in the USA do not travel that much. So if you're focused in the U.S. market, which I believe you are, if you're kind of watching this video. Because the majority of the audience is the U.S. For me,、uh, the the audience is just not traveling to different countries as much. So what do they do if they buy a travel book? Yeah, they might buy one travel book or two travel books within five years. But beyond that, what's going to happen? Well, are they going to buy you know book your plane tickets from you?、Mm, yes, maybe no, but you're not going to be able to do the flight and make money on that. Instead, what's going to end up happening is you might make a commission from an affiliate sale. But after that, that's pretty much it. So, travel book. Basically, you have a couple of opportunities to make sales, three or four sales maybe in your lifetime from one person, and then that's it. If you go with a European audience or people who travel a little bit more, yeah, that may make a little more sense.、Uh, and if you're hitting up different products through affiliates, that's fine. But again, very competitive, very specific to the region. And again, you sell the book, and then what's coming next? You have to think about what's the next product that that same person is going to buy. Okay, so again, very difficult to start out with. Can you do it? Absolutely, but to start out with makes it a little bit tough. And kids' books. With kids' books, also they have different age ranges. So you might have a kids' books that's you know a cardboard. Uh, kind of book where、uh, tiny toddlers are flipping through it, so they don't rip the pages.、And、then you have, you know, kids' books from an age group of let's say four to six. You have six to eight,、uh, eight to ten. So there's so many different reading levels in the kids' ages. It becomes a little more difficult to write a kids' book. Now, to do the writing part. Uh, is not that difficult because you don't have to, you know, create this elaborate story like you do with the romance novels, and you don't have to get in as much detail because the kids may not notice it. You're really here trying to sell and cater towards the parents, so you're selling to someone who's not really going to digest the book, and that makes it a little bit difficult. So you have to sell the parents. Then you have to go into your subcategory, which age bracket you want to dominate. The printing is a little more difficult because if you're self-publishing, you can't just do Amazon Create Space at the moment because what's going to happen is, well, you can't create a thick cardboard-based book for a kid through Amazon. Eventually, that may change, but you have to actually go and produce and manufacture that kind of on your own. And then the other problem is the illustrations. With kids' books, you need a lot of pictures, a lot of illustrations, and that becomes Much more difficult than, let's say, a cooking book. With cooking, yes, you do need pictures and photos. That does help.、Uh, even a travel book, pictures do help. But you could go and just take those pictures. With kids' books, there's a lot of more drawing involved or illustrations involved, and a lot of times you can't do that on your own unless you are a personal illustrator. So this is why that industry is also a little more difficult because you're marketing to, you know, the kids segment, and you're really. Catering towards the parents. So these are my top six that I would try to avoid as your first Kindle ebook or your first book. Doesn't mean you can't go in these categories later on, but I would say as you're breaking into these, it's a lot more difficult. And if you can start with somewhere else, now if you definitely want to go into one of these, not a problem at all. You could do it, but the issue that's going to happen is it just may take a little more time for you to. Pick that,、uh, pick things up, and accelerate your sales. It may take a little more time to build your name out there. It may take a little more time to build your business out there, and really figure things out. So that's why I would say, hey, be careful in these、uh, six niches or areas. And there might be a few others that maybe you're struggling with,、uh, but instead, the better approach is to dig deeper, dig deeper into a niche. So get into that segment that we talked about. So here, let's just take diet and weight loss for example.、Uh, instead of going,、uh, you know, in a big category, how to lose weight in 30 days, you might go into how to lose weight by drinking smoothies. Then you're creating multiple books from here, from drinking veggie smoothies, from、uh, you know detoxing from liquids. So you start creating kind of book sets around that, and going deeper and deeper into the niche. And that really Is a lot better than just going for a broad category. All right, so thanks for joining me today. By all means, subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking the button right below this video, or join me on my newsletter list right.